We take a ride with the sanitation department's illegal dumping task force. That's where officers are on the hunt for people who break the rules. And as Miles Miller tells us tonight, improperly tossing trash has stiff penalties. Hector Marrero spends his nights looking for trash. He's a lieutenant with the sanitation department's citywide illegal dumping task force. If we catch them illegally dumping, it's a $4,000 penalty. We impound their vehicle and there is a cleanup cost. One that resulted in 284 summonses in 2018. The task force has armed plainclothes officers who patrol in each of the five boroughs, searching for illegal dumpers and other violators of sanitation law. We see a lot of construction waste. A lot of times, um, you know, people do uh, work in their homes or they're doing uh, work in a commercial site. And instead of going down to the uh, dump to uh, pay to dispose of the material, they take it upon themselves to dump it in the street. We hit the streets with Lieutenant Marrero and his partner, Officer Stephen Aponte, to see the work for ourselves. They usually visit known dumping grounds waiting in their unmarked car to catch the violators in the act. But just minutes into this shift, driving in Baychester, they see large contractor bags under the elevated train tracks at 233rd Street. See, it's like construction debris. That's about it. So we'll take this back to the squad, and then we'll issue a summons to this. They find cardboard with the name of a company in Westchester County. A new law allows them to use such identifying information as evidence to find dumpers. Back on the road, we see a cabbie hiding behind a passenger door. We're along Webster Avenue, a busy commercial corridor here in the Bronx. It's a site where officers often see dumping, but this is different. The taxi driver in that car was urinating outside of his car, and he'll be issued a $75 ticket. He wouldn't be the only person ticketed for public urination. This man relieved himself outside Evander Child's high school. As night falls, we head to Hunts Point, the world's largest food distribution center. The officers spot rotting produce in an illegally dumped container and then boxes of air purifiers littering the street. They'll notify the local sanitation garage to pick it all up. At Oak Point Avenue, we watch as this private carter picks up a container, illegally dripping sewage. Aponte issues the driver a ticket. These trash fighters say New Yorkers can play a critical role in catching dumpers by calling 311. It's very helpful if they have a plate number, if they have a description of the vehicle, if they could give us a time. Marrero and Aponte end their shift to trash fighters trying to protect the city's quality of life. With the task force in Baychester, the Bronx, Miles Miller, New York One.